Now let me give you an example of what it's like to land in that zone. Senior, senior, ex successful executive uh, shows up, he's right in this territory. Here's what it looks like. So I'm, gonna, I'm about to do the first day of a workshop, and I'm in there before the group shows up, and I'm writing stuff on the flip chart. My back's to the door, I hear the door open, and uh, somebody walks in and says, this room arrangement sucks. I don't think I could even find a seat in this room. And I'm, I'm I keep writing, I'm going, my God, what are we in for here? <laughs> Turns out this guy was the chief technology officer for one of the largest telecommunication companies in the United States. Now, um, you can imagine from how he showed up and that when he walked in the room, what his 360 feedback might have looked like. <laughs> Not real high on relating skills. <laughs> A lot of stuff in autocratic and c controlling and stuff like that, right? So at the, on the last day, I'm asking the group to write down a list of results that they want to create going forward with what they've learned. And he's not writing anything. And I look over and my first response is, jerk's checked out. <laughs> but I'm working on this notion of wisdom at work, you know. So I think maybe that's not an optimal response. And so I walk up to him. I walk up to him and I say, I, I notice you're not writing anything. Can I be of any help? And he says, uh, let's take it outside. <laughs> so we go outside. I don't know if I'm in for a fight or what. And, and, it, and he, he actually uh, says exactly this, verbatim. You want me to tell you what, uh, you want me to write down on that sheet of paper what, a list of results, I can do that in a heartbeat. Let me tell you what I got from this work, work, workshop. I, can, I could list those results in five seconds. But if you want me to write down on that sheet of paper what I want, I don't know. Now listen to the socialized mind, the reactive mind falling away without anything to replace it with. Only the questions, the powerful questions emerge that are disorienting and disturbing. He says to me, he says, uh, uh, this is what I got. I don't know what to write down on that sheet of paper. And I got that from my 360 feedback, and I got it from the stories you told about your own life. You see, all my life, my dad said, um, uh, you're going to college, so I went to college. When I got into college, they said, be an engineer, so I became an engineer. They said, that's where the jobs were. Nobody asked me if I wanted to be an engineer, so I became an engineer. When I got into engineering, they said, you should go into management, so I became a manager. When I became a manager, they said, you're better off if you're higher. So I climbed, and I climbed, and I climbed, and I climbed with the best of them. And now I can chase results with the best of them, but if you, and now his eyes are getting big around the saucers, tears, he says, but if you want me to write down on that sheet of paper what I really want, I don't have a clue. What do I do with this? That's a powerful question, and it's the central organizing question of the creative mind. Now, we got him some coaching and some support, and he went on to do some really, uh, uh, really cool work with what he was learning. But the fundamental question, you can hear the old self uh, dissolving away, and the new self starting to ask the central organizing question. And so the uh, first practice that I want to orient us to is this notion of the very question he asked, I don't know what I really want. Who am I really? What's the life I want to live now? That's the that's what emerges.